Hi, welcome to Zena Gallery. My name is Zena, and I will be providing a energy message. So let's see what we get. <clears throat> okay, if there's any anger, put some space in between the anger and surrender. Okay, so surrender to peace and movement. So, if there's any anger or anything to be angry about, I know it's the holidays, so things could just be not going um, how you expect them to go, or how you, or things are just making you angry. Possibly, make sure you're putting space and surrendering to peace and movement. Movement can just be not around the things that are obviously making you angry or just like exercise. All right, let me keep going. <clears throat> uh, rest, okay. And trust, let's see what this one is about. <clears throat> okay, so rest and make sure you trust your success, okay? Anything that you're trying to, uh, do it's going to be a success but make sure you're trusting that all right if you're not trusting that you're going to be successful then that's automatically going to bring in the wrong energy and yeah it could make you angry right um let's see make sure you're conscious of make sure you're being conscious of your determination and your cleansing okay make sure you're determined and you're being conscious of your determination and make sure you're cleansing uh energy cleansing um, yeah, so make sure you're cleansing any painful or anything that's causing you pain. Make sure you are cleansing. I get that real heavy. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I, I see that there may be a lack of love or a lack of sweetness or a lack of, um, let's see, lack of love, okay, lack of sweetness. And that is because possibly there is some illusion, some magic, possibly some... There could be some type of illusion or magic going on. And what I get with this, it could be like an interference when it comes to like lack of love that's causing an isolation or possibly feeling rejected. And I'm getting that towards the success and trust. So not trusting your success in anything that you're trying to create or work on. So make sure that cleansing that we spoke about, about the pain, make sure that's taking place because like I said, magic, anything that goes with isolation or any rejection or the lack of love, that could be an interference. So I don't really get like magic, but I do get it. There is an interference and that could just be like the people we're around, maybe cock blockers, haters, um, people that just don't want to see you happy, right? So make sure you are cleansing. I'm not going to spend too much time on that, but let's keep going. Okay, so yeah, make sure you have faith, all right? And make sure that you're comfortable in your faith. Make sure you are confident and comfortable in your faith, all right? Because if not, you're going to be sad, okay? You're going to you're creating sadness or there is going to be sadness if you're not confident and comfortable in your faith all right keep going oh man okay i'm not gonna take all of this all right we'll take these first three all right so let's see make sure you are using your intuition make sure you're reflecting all right but make sure you're using your intuition and you're reflecting on your intuition and using your intuition, um, using your intuition for reflection so that you're not creating any anxiety, okay? 
make sure you're not creating anxiety when you're using uh, your intuition on any reflections, okay? We're, we are human, all right? <clears throat> all right. What else? Okay, there could be something that is negative, that is not fruitful, is putting a lack of confidence or is causing a lack of confidence. Okay, so something that's, it says death, but I like to say something that is just like not fruitful, not um, abundant, not, you know, uh, Whatever it is, it's just really putting injury to your confidence. Let's keep going and see. All right, this is supposed to be an energy reading, but you know what? There's causing frustration. Let me keep going. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, there is a mystery when it comes to the lack of abundance, all right? And what I'm getting, I'm going to keep going, but I'm going to try to talk about this in the end but there is if you're wondering if like what's going on there is a mystery behind the lack of abundance and I could be getting what I was saying about maybe something that is around you or something is put in depth to your confidence okay and it is causing frustration and it is working there is a mystery behind the lack of abundance all right let me keep going right, what else Okay, so whatever it is, don't, I'm going to, okay, everything I just said about that, whatever it is, just make sure you are putting energy to your growth, okay, because that will override the mystery or the interference or anything that's not fruitful that is working on your confidence, your abundance, the mystery, the magic, the interference, the disruption, make sure you're putting energy onto your growth, okay, that's the solution to anything that basically is coming at that stopping your abundance and your growth or anything that is basically not fruitful okay if you pay attention to all those things previous to about what i said not putting energy to the growth then you're basically allowing the mysteries to come in that is basically interrupting your confidence your uh abundance and let's see what else And also, don't stop. Do not stop when it comes to being creative. And creative could be... Creative is a tool so that you can, you know, work through things. Um, so that you can use the energy to grow. You know, being creative basically helps with growth and abundance. So do not stop that. Don't stop if something doesn't work one way. Make sure you're you know, being creative in the ways of trying to get things to work out when it comes to your growth and your success and your abundance. Okay, so you have protection and you have the strength. These go hand in hand. You are protected and make sure you're using your strength. Make sure when it comes to fears, you're balancing. Okay, like we're all human, you know. Everybody has things that they may be fearful, but make sure you are balancing and it's not overriding your strength and that you feel that you're not protected, all right? All right, so when it comes to love, and the flow love and flow or flow and love uh there is a disruption remember we were speaking about that it's obviously a disruption um but make sure you're you're going creating ideas okay make sure you are despite there may be a disruption just make sure you are open to not allowing it to disrupt your ideas when it comes to maybe love or going with the flow or just any ideas in general. Um, let me see what else. Make sure you are being happy. And yeah, see, okay. So make sure you're being cautious or caution when it comes to those, those darker energies, those entities, those disruptions 
those fearful thoughts or um, attachments or anything that is like not fruitful. Okay, make sure you're being cautious about that because it is trying to disrupt, you know, your happiness. Um, it's trying to disrupt your ideas. It's trying to, it's disrupting your flow and your love. So self love, you know, love or just um, love just in general um, on receiving. Illumination and passion. Okay, so illumination and hungry for passion. Make sure. All right, so this one was kind of like. All right, let me let me recap on this real quick. <clears throat> all right, so make sure you're going with the flow when it comes to love, self love. Um, make sure you're not being disrupted when it comes to your ideas, your happiness. Make sure you're cautious when it comes to any attachments, uh, entities, uh. Ghosts are just like things that do not possibly belong to you, okay? Um, you're protected when it comes to that. Make sure you're using your strength to overcome fear and balance. Be creative. Make sure you're not stopping when it comes to energy, using your energy to grow, okay? Um, don't be so focused on um, the mystery behind abundance because as long as you're using your energy to grow, abund health is wealth, okay? Okay. Yeah, don't focus so much on if is it a mystery. What is the mystery? Just focus on growing. It could be a little frustrating, but make sure you're putting um, the energy into your confidence and your reflection and your intuition. Make sure you're using your intuition and reflection, but make sure you're not doing it to the extent where it's causing anxiety and sadness. Make sure you are strong in that when it comes to the comfortable and faith. Make sure you are strong and standing firm in your comfortability, in your faith, and in your beliefs, okay? Because there is a lot of uh, illusions and trickery going on. Make sure you're sweet. Make sure you're not isolating yourself due to any type of... Um, what I get with this, that abundance. So maybe you feel like, okay, you're not being abundant or there isn't any abundance coming on. Make sure you are not isolating yourself due to that type of rejection. And rejection... What I'm getting, I'm getting in what in finances, okay? I'm getting that um, maybe you took a loss or maybe there's not enough money or maybe you're looking for a job, maybe there is no job, but just make sure you're cleansing that pain and using your determination. Make sure you're being conscious of using your determination and trusting that you will be successful, okay? Heavy, make sure you're trusting that you things are going to work out for you. Make sure you're resting. Make sure you're you're using peace, Okay, make sure you're protecting your peace. Make sure that you are moving in peace and you are also exercising and surrendering. Okay, make sure you surrender to the divine, your higher power, what you believe, the most high, God, prayers. Um, make sure you're putting a lot of space when it comes to anything that's making you angry, all right? And illumination, um, you are hungry for illumination and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, finding the good, finding the light in the time right now because that's what drives you about passion that's what being passionate is about you know um being successful within ourself mind body soul all right so overall that's just what i got my name is zena thank you for watching zena gallery i hope that this was a beautiful message with it hopes that um you know it's holiday season just be mindful of um it could always be worse and you're doing your best and take care of yourself Okay, protect your peace, stay, stay strong in your faith and make yourself comfortable and take your time. Okay, thank you. Have a beautiful week ahead. Thank you. Bye bye.